In this video, I'm gonna be discussing short selling in the stock market. Yes, I'm Scott Bauer. And like I said in this video, we're gonna delve into the world of short selling with a specific focus on a hot stock in the market right now, DJT, Trump Media and Technology Group. I'll explain exactly what hard to borrow means and how certain factors can really significantly impact trading strategies and costs. So whether you're a seasoned trader or you're just starting out, you're just a beginner on your journey in the stock market, understanding what short selling is, is essential, especially when you're dealing with high demand stocks like DJT. Before we go into the option market and option pricing that you see on the screen here, let's first talk about what shorting something really means. Shorting or shorting a stock specifically, that's a common strategy for traders and investors who believe that a stock is going to decline in value. And obviously, the goal is to buy that stock back cheaper sometime down the road, make a profit. Well, that's not just selling, but when you are shorting, how can that potentially be extremely, extremely expensive? Shorting a stock is selling a stock that you don't own. I know that can be kind of hard to imagine, right? It's a, a difficult concept to understand, but how can I sell something that I don't actually own? Well, to understand this process, you have to realize that in order to sell your stock, you've got to borrow it from someone else. Most likely that's gonna be your brokerage firm. They're gonna be the ones to lend you that stock so then you can go sell it. Now. Think about stocks like Apple, Microsoft, NVIDIA, you know, other big cap stocks. You can short stock, you can sell stock till you're blue in the face if you wanted to. You're not going to get charged for that because there's no issue shorting those stocks. That's because there is an abundance of available stock out there, an abundance of stock to borrow. Okay, but when we look at a stock like a DJT, where there's a very, very small number of outstanding shares there, it can be extremely cost prohibitive to do that. And think about the basic economic principle of supply and demand, right? If there's a lot of supply of an asset of something, what happens? Prices usually go down. If there's not, right? If there's short supply, big demand, prices go up. Well, the fact here that there's not a lot of stock available for a brokerage firm or anyone else to lend to you, what are they gonna do? They're gonna charge higher and higher prices for you to pay to borrow that stock. So the fewer shares there are that's available out there, the higher the cost to borrow them. So specific to DJT, there are less than 50,000 shares available to borrow. That is a very, very small number and the demand to short the stock is extremely high. So the cost to borrow that stock is nearing four to 500% at this point. That's right, four to 500%. What does that actually mean though? And how does that affect option pricing? Well, let's say you were to sell 100 shares of stock and right now the stock is trading roughly $41. If I sold 100 shares, I would collect $4,100. That would go right into my brokerage account right away. But I don't have the stock to sell. So I've got to go to my brokerage firm. They've got to give it to me, lend it to me so I can then sell it. Well, because it's in such short supply, they are going to charge me that four to 500%, which could cost me over $20,000 per year to borrow that stock. Why would I collect $4,100 when if I need to borrow that stock from someone, it's gonna cost me upwards of 20 grand to do that. The stock would need to decline by about 1.4% per day just to cover the cost of shorting it. And even if the stock went to zero, what would happen? I'd still be a loser. So therein lies the world of stock options. What can someone do instead of selling stock? If they wanna have a short position, Someone could typically just buy a put option. A put option gives the owner, the holder, the right to sell stock at a certain price, which is known as the strike price, up until a certain time in the future, which is known as the expiration date. So let's go back to the chart here again. 
DJT is trading right around 41. So we're going to focus right on the 41 strike calls and puts. You'll notice I have the May 3rd expiration here. Now, for those of you that are not familiar trading options, real quick byline here is typically when we look at a strike price, expiration really is almost immaterial, but we look at a strike price, the calls and puts are almost equivalent or very near one another when that strike price is close to where the stock is trading or what's known as at the money. Well, in this case with DJT, with the stock trading 4106, the 41 strike call is trading roughly 350. The 41 strike put is trading 11 and a quarter. Yes, that's three times, over three times the amount that the call is trading. Why is that? We just talked about how at the money options, calls and puts are relatively the same price. Well, that's because there's no stock to borrow or it's hard to borrow. Remember, what was that cost if I had borrowed the stock and then went to sell it? That was about 1.4% a day. So if we look at this option, the 41 strike put, let's say I buy that even for $11, okay? Well, my break even, my break even on this trade would be the 41 strike. Remember, I own that put that allows me to sell stock at 41, but I'm paying $11 for that right. So the stock would have to go down to $30 by May 3rd expiration for me to even break even on this thing. That's about that 1.4% or so move a day. So I just really wanted to point this one out because this is so front and center in the news, this stock. And a lot of people have come to me and said, why are these options so mispriced? Why are these puts so expensive? Reason is because it's very, very difficult to borrow the stock if you wanted to sell it short. Hopefully that makes sense, everybody. I really appreciate you being here, and I appreciate if you can like, subscribe, or leave a comment if there's anything that you want to review on these videos. We cover concepts across the board, anything like this, anything that's hot in the markets. And if you're new to trading, great. Dive into options with my beginner's guide in the description of this video. Or you can get a personalized strategy on a one-on-one -on -one training with somebody on my team. You can also find that in the description. All right, everybody, thanks again for watching. We'll see you on the next one.